Welcome to a video on digitallife.com. In this video we're going to have a quick look at the new Logitech living room keyboard, the K830. So this is designed to be used in a home theatre, uh, sit back on the couch, it's backlit keyboard, trackpad, wireless, so what we'll do is unbox it, connect up to my machine here and we'll see what it can do. So in the box here we have a USB cable, which is for charging, an extension USB cable by the looks of it. A USB receiver. I'll show you close detail in a sec. And then the keyboard. So that's the little USB receiver that comes with it. And uh, it's actually uh, chargeable. You don't need batteries in this. So you can use the USB cable to charge it. And But to actually do the receiving, you can use this. So it's very, very lightweight, nice and solid feel, doesn't feel too flimsy. Um, so we'll try it back in a minute. It's got the full keyboard on there, there's no numeric keypad or anything like that, but all the keys you would need, including the F keys and uh, some Windows keys. So we'll see what they're like when we connect it up to the PC. And we've got a trackpad with mouse and keyboard. And I really like this style of keyboard because uh, when I'm using my uh, Home Theater PC, you, know, you tend to use it like that. And uh, for a while, I've used other remote keyboards. I used the Microsoft one back, going back to the XP days, the Windows Media Center one. Right, let me just connect this up then. Okay, so I've just plugged that in and it's already working. So um, it was already charged up and paired up, so there's nothing like that I need to do. So if I kill the lights, whether we'll see the backlit on there, and you can see it comes on as. Um, as I start using it and I think it'll probably fade away at some point there you go and I can bring it back up again so on the keyboard you've got a trackpad so I can go through to the say Internet Explorer and uh, notice it supports tap as well to finger scrolling the edge gestures like you would have in uh, on a, say on a laptop so you can bring in the charms in Windows and you can switch between applications and so we've got transport controls, volume, and mute, uh, and we've got the Windows key on there as well. And we've got some other things, some of the standard Windows stuff. And if you want to do function, if you want the F keys, you can control controls. Uh, use the uh, F N button and then the key. So it's a nice lightweight keyboard. It's got a nice solid typing action. Um, quite it's it's almost it's very laptop like actually um, it's not too clickety clackety but it does uh, have a nice sort of soft feel to it so you certainly could do plenty of typing on it um, but it's it's light enough to just be able to pick up and use on your lap but it's also good enough to stick it on a desk and use it as a as a keyboard for your desk as well now distance on wireless Logitech say uh, 10 meters so I'm going to try that and see how far I can get with it. So I've just been, uh, this is my office here upstairs, I've just been downstairs, around all the upstairs and uh, just pausing and playing the music so actually the keyboard's got a really good range on it so if you're looking for something to go right at the back of a fairly large room then there's no problem with that, there's no line of sight um, it all is uh, over the air and uh, a nice connect a nice keyboard to use with a home theatre PC or even a, a PC you want to sit back with and use and you want a keyboard and uh, you just want to be able to use this wherever with the trackpad it supports all the, the windows uh, features you expect like uh, scrolling and gestures transport controls as well chargeable uh, over USB very very simple setup so a really nice keyboard really um, flexible keyboard so I'm going to use it and try a bit more and see how it go, how got on with it but uh, information about price and everything else in the show notes or in the link on the YouTube video so thanks for watching this video and we'll see you on some more bye